Hey everyone, what's going on? Joey Contino here, and we just got some really exciting news. There's a new TV show coming to Fox, we don't know when just yet, called The Floor. It is a game show, and I wanna go over all the details before we get started. Make sure you subscribe, you turn on notifications, and you give this video a thumbs up. Let's get started. This show comes from the Netherlands and is such a big hit over there. It's actually so big, that just three days ago, a French TV broadcasting network purchased the rights to do their own version of the show. And just like in France, it's also happening here in the US. It's being brought on by the same company that does Holy Moly, Farmer Wants a Wife, and it's called Eureka. Eureka, honestly, has been putting out so many great shows lately. They even did The Love Boat, which we've talked about on this show many of times. Let's go over everything we know about this TV show because it is quite interesting and it's unlike any other game show I've ever seen. So first thing you have to understand is that there are 100 squares in this larger square, which is called the floor. Those 100 squares are representing 100 people, which actually stand on that square during the entire show. Let me read for you word for word how it works and then we'll discuss it. It says, the first challenger selected at random must choose one of his or her neighboring opponents to go head to head in an epic quiz duel in the opponent's category because everyone has their own category. It could be movie, could be TV, could be science, you name it. The winner takes the loser square gaining valuable ground as they expand their territory while the loser exits the game. The winner must then choose, do they continue on and attempt to secure yet another square, or do they let the floor choose another challenger at random? The last contestant standing, who has control of the entire floor, all 100 spaces, will win the grand prize of $250,000. So essentially the way that it works is that if I get chosen at random, I say I'm movies, and I challenged the person next to me thinking they don't know movies. And the question is, you know, what year did the first Batman come out? And I do my guess and I'm right and that person's wrong. Then guess what? They lose their spot. They're done in the game. And then I take over their spot. I could either say I want to continue and pick someone else next to me. Or I can say, you know what, computer, pick someone else and let them continue. You can kind of see how it works because if there's multiple people doing movies and everyone around you is movies, then maybe you don't want to pick someone next to you, but sometimes you don't have a choice. So you can kind of see how they're pinning people against each other. Now I have to say, for a game show, this is the most contestants you've ever seen per episode. I'm assuming they're doing 100 per episode. And now I know the biggest question you're probably asking yourself, but who is hosting this TV show? At this time, according to Deadline, we don't know. That information has not been made public yet. I'm assuming it's mostly because of the strike that's going on. I know right now the writer strike's happening, and it is possible that the actors could strike. I know it was uh, after put out a whole thing, SAG after put out a whole thing today, talking about the possibility of them striking in the very, very soon future. So right now there is no host, and we also don't have a date on when they're gonna start filming or when this is going to air. If I had to guess, this would probably air sometime in the fall. It could be after Mask Singer, but my whole thing is this TV show is clearly going after Wheel of Fortune, right? Or Jeopardy. So I would assume that they're gonna air them at the same time slot, which then wouldn't really work for the Mask Singer. But you let me know in the comment section, are you excited for this TV show? And when do you think it should air? Also, who do you think the host should be, right? I mean, that's a really, really good one. I, it's a shame the whole thing with Jamie Foxx. He would have been perfect for this. Wayne Brady could have been good for this too. I don't know. I really don't know. I'll tell you one thing. They're not getting Ryan Seacrest <laughs> now that he has wheel. Anyway, if you haven't done so yet, please subscribe, turn on notifications, and give this video a thumbs up. I'm Joey. Stay safe. See you later. Bye.